What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday. Uh, we are here to talk about some uh, upcoming champion details and uh, the, the beginning of preseason changes are starting to flow in. Yeah, it's looking uh, it's looking pretty crazy. Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, Riot released, I think it used to be called Riot Please, but they've changed it to LOL Please, um, where they kind of outline what they want to do um, in the upcoming year. So uh, Reeve and Froxon gave us a nice little uh, um, list of the of the upcoming changes. And then there was also that post of the jungle changes as well. So there's a lot, yeah. there's a lot coming to the game. Um, of course, before we do that, we want to go back to episode 83. And our question was, what are your thoughts on the Udyr rework? And Mayo Rodin said, I love it. Honestly, think he's a little overloaded, mostly with the unstoppable on the orange stance. Great re rework. I I think that was the thing I like like the most was that they gave him a little like cause cause Udyr is always about like running right at you. Right. And if he's unstoppable, that I feel like that's what he needed. I feel to like be... every champion that runs at you is unstoppable now. I'm trying to think. Because Ramus if you press R, he's unstoppable. Master, Master Yi. He's got A. Or, yeah, he's got or a Q. What I call it? A? Alpha Strike. God, I'm stupid. Yeah, he's that's... got a Q. That's, you're right. It's not unstoppable, but that's also literally his only weakness is hard CC. <laughs> um, yeah, Ramus has the ulti. Orn doesn't really run at you, but he's got the unstoppable from the Bellows Breath. Um, who else runs at you? Uh, Hecar Hecarim. Hecarim's got the ulti. He's unstoppable there. So, I mean, everybody that runs at you is, is realistically has an unstoppable piece. So it was only a matter of time to <laughs> Udyr got one. But I I can understand how someone would think it's, like, overloaded because he's got a lot of other things in his kit that are very interesting. So don't be surprised if something like the, um, in my opinion, I think the homing uh, Frost Storm is going to be taken away. It's probably not going to home. Um after the first couple patches, it's probably just going to shoot out in a line, like a skill shot as opposed to being like a, a point and click. So I think, I don't think he's overloaded. From watching, again, a lot of Trick 2G. That's all he's been playing. <laughs> the, well, it's now, I'm like, I'm going to have, I'm going to like instinctly say Tiger Stance because it's a Q. Right. The, 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 the Volibear, the, the Q. Um, AD or AD Udyr now just kind of does not seem good just because sure you get the attack speed and then the awaken is like the little lightning shit but there's no dot and that was like the thing about going like AD Udyr right um now it's just you get increased auto attack damage or yeah you get auto attack speed increase and then like isolation damage which is weird because I feel like Udyr is I mean, aside from, I guess that's the only thing that stayed over from the dot because the dot was single target, right? But, but then you look at, um, I can't. What's his? I don't even know what his new R is called. The Anivia, the AOE is so fucking strong. Like, I think it's still Phoenix, that's, right? Is it Glacial <clears throat> Phoenix? Is I think it's still Phoenix? Phoenix. I don't remember. I just think Udir loves AOE, right? And that can allow him to not only just go AP, but like. When you go when you go tank, that's what you take anyways, just because it increases your fucking clear speed so well, and it's a, it's even better than old uh, Phoenix, just because it, it I don't know it it is it's plus it has AOE slow like that's right. gonna be fucking great for running down people. Um, I did see one thing that they changed on um on surrendered honey twenty for the PBE, and we don't have to like super go right. into this, but they buffed his w the lifesteal the the heal to apparently it was reduced against minions and stuff but they buffed it to a hundred percent healing against uh jungle creeps okay so they okay. seems like they want to pump him back into the jungle but he could still be played top lane probably but yeah just um, watch trick 2g he plays on the top lane all the time <laughs> i think i'm thinking ap but have more heavily tank is gonna be yeah i was gonna say the only thing him. the only thing i've heard also, Azar, by the way, is called Wingborn Storm. 
We're not going to remember that. That's fucking Phoenix Stance. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the one thing I have heard from Trick is that he said that the AP build is so fucking ungodly expensive. So you have to go hybrid AP tank. Think of like um, any any AP tank that's building Demonic Embrace. Like you're going to have a similar kind of build. Yeah. You might throw in Chem Tank. I'm not sure. That might be the best just because it's so, so cheap. Uh, cheap. Effective move speed. Um, I don't even know what you're running as a mythic. I mean, I I would assume maybe that is a mythic. Or sorry, not a mythic. I mean, as a as a rune, as a as a uh... probably. God, what is I it know called? Phase, phase rush is good. And, phase, or, um... I can see predator working too. If you don't want to go, can work. if you don't want to go chem tank and you want to go something else, you can go predator too. Um, could just go aftershock just to be that could, much more tanky. Could go aftershock. Could go um, grasp. I mean, anything in the green tree, I think, is going to be okay realistically i mean he's probably gonna make good use of all of those so uh yeah just expect typical ap tank style builds from him uh demonic embrace is probably gonna be like a fucking core item on that build um also wouldn't be surprised to see if he opted not to go chem tank but to go uh glacial or frozen gauntlet what was it called now um frost yeah, frostborn Ga frostfire gauntlet frostfire, jesus yep. christ <laughs> these names are all similar um yeah don't be surprised if you, if, if you see that come out on him as people are testing builds out i think there's a new a number of good mythics but i think they're all going to be tank mythics yep agreed uh well thank you mayo and then really quick the poll from last week was post rework what is the best looking udir skin now and 75% of you guys said Black Belt. I, I think it was, honestly, in the back of my mind, it was either going to come down to Black Belt or Primal just because those were the shittiest looking ones. Right. And you know whenever Riot updates a champion, their, their skin department usually knocks it out of the park. Yeah. I mean, those skins look great now. Speaking of the skin department, the Janna skin that they just, or the Janna splash they just released, dude, fucking fire. That's all I'm going to say. What is it? Halo, what the fuck I don't is it even called? remember what it's called. I just know that the splash art is fire. Like it's so good. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I implore you to check that out because that blew me away when I saw that. It, uh, as Ethan Klein would say, it blew my tits away. <laughs> it really fucked your tits. Yeah, exactly. But uh, that's it for the last episode, guys. So let's get into this because we got a, a a lot to go here, and I don't want to eat up too much of your guys' time. Um, right. If you haven't watched the Champions in Preseason 2023, also known as LOL Please video, um, take a second, check that out, and then come back to us and hear what we have to say about it. Because if you haven't watched it, it's not. this isn't going to make any sense to you. No, I think it's better that they get our information, their information from us. That's <laughs> going to probably be inaccurate. And, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, it's, it's on the client. It's on the home client. So just, you know, yep. it's like... A uh, ten minute video, like fifteen thirty three. Fifty. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's it's chock full of uh, fun stuff. But uh, basically, it's broken up into two parts, which was champions and then gameplay, which I guess is like encompasses like the whole thing of league. But like right. in particular, champions and then preseason changes. So yep. uh, we are gonna jump into that. And let's start with champions. So. The first thing they... Let me turn my screen on here. The first thing they talk about was mid-scope updates for Nico and Syndra. Yeah. This really confused me. Syndra, I was surprised. I didn't expect them to do anything for Nico, but I, I think we talked about it, too. Is, is I could see a world where it makes sense because, like, nobody plays Nico, which is sad because I find that champion actually really fun to play in mid. She's not... A typical mid lane champion that you would expect but i think that's fine i think that's what gives her some uh unique qualities uh similar to a soul not necessarily being a mid champion however her gameplay versus like a soul gameplay is much more intuitive and understandable versus a soul you really have to to have like a a 10 head with full of brain or something like that to figure it out you know uh yeah the the cinder one is just like what what can they do i feel like she's fine right, I, right. Now. like she's just not in the meta because nothing's been good for her in the past year i mean they, since the mythics came out there's really she doesn't really i mean what, what i guess my go ahead 
I was gonna say the only thing I can think of is she's very one dimensional. If she right. misses Scatter the Week, what the fuck is she gonna do? Right, right. Well, she's... so maybe that's the only thing I can think of is they're gonna update her to give her a little bit, maybe a little bit more utility for her team for setup. Yeah, but all you have, um, all you have to do is throw out a bunch of cues, alt, and then Scatter the Week, and you'll be fine. I mean, that's like that's been the thing for a while, right? You alt and then Scatter the Week. Uh, Unless, I, I, I mean, I don't play Cinder, so I, I would figure that you see see him first. It, but... it depends on on the situation, right? Obviously, if you're if you're going after one champion, you're gonna scatter the week and then alt. But if you're in a team fight, generally you pick a champion that you can alt that's kind of towards the front line, and then you scatter the week and you fire all the orbs sure. back, and you can get a massive AOE stun. But I think there's just right now there's just better champions, and I think instead of instead of um, updating her or giving her like a like a gameplay revisit uh, you could just buff her a little bit and she'd be fine but that's my own personal mm. opinion i could be wrong maybe yeah i'm curious what they would have in mind nico i feel like i'd be i'm i'm curious and i'm bound to like take guesses what they could do for nico because like i think they maybe should play into the fantasy of her disguising herself yeah, a little bit the, more the chameleon piece Maybe maybe they can allow you to use so say if you know you have a Nico and a Syndra, Nico turns into Syndra. <laughs> maybe you can use one ability without, you know, revealing yourself. Like you can use a Syndra stunt or a Q. Right. I can see that. Like you know, and then of course, you know, if you take damage you get revealed, but feel like I mean, to be fair, there's been plenty of games where I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Why is Varus mid? And like, oh JK, it's just Nico, but um, right. I've actually yeah, I I played with the I played with a uh, <laughs> a Nico today, and um, who do we have top lane? We had uh, oh Yorick, and she just ran mid as Yorick after Yorick was gone. It was like very well coordinated. I was actually rather impressed. I'm like I don't think anyone plays this champion like this, but it was. Um, I mean, it was interesting. Uh, and I'm just looking at Syndra by the way right now. I just wanted to look at her at her abilities because I couldn't remember her passive, and. That's just what they really need to fix. Is her passive? <laughs> oh, it just upgrades once they're ranked out. Yeah, abilities yeah. Are... That's it. I mean, I don't know. But yeah, <sighs> I, yeah. I, I you... Nico. I like you said. I think the you could play around with the chameleon aspect. Uh, I think that would be pretty fun. Um. She just she does have like a, a decent aesthetic. Like her kit feels put together to me. So I don't understand. I mean, the only thing that feels not put together is the on hit passive. That feels kind of out of place because I remember when she came out, people were like, "Oh yeah, play on hit Nico," and it was okay. But like Mage Nico is so much better. Like, why are we playing on hit Nico? What is that? You know, what is that doing for us? You know, feels like they do that with a lot of champions. They just throw in some like on hit just to woo, right. Then... It just sucks. I feel like you can't even play to that though with her. You know, she's not a champion that's going to get away with building an Asher's Tooth or something like that, where you can kind of lean into it a little bit, right? Like, mm -hmm. TF, it works, because you can lean in a little bit with, uh, you don't, not that you have to go AD, but that kind of hybrid with the, with the um, RFC, I mean, if you land the Rapid Fire Cannon with, with the Empowered W attack, you're going to do a fuck ton of damage if your E with TF is up, right? Um, Nico's on hit, like, she's not building any items that are, that do anything with that. It just well, I was gonna say if exists. you if you wanna you'd have to build like AD on hit right go like Bork Wit's End Rage Blade that's what you you have to like fully commit to that right and solely rely off the damage off your W passive right and it's it's just kind of silly because like I said she's not a champion that's gonna build Nashor's too that's not what she wants to do she doesn't want to come up and auto attack you she wants to catch you with an E hit you with the Q and fly in with the ulti and stun you so that way you take all the damage she's a burst champion why does she have an on hit passive that. That would be what I would look at fixing if I was doing some sort of mid scope update, but I don't know that I would change too much beyond that. So that's just <clears throat> my, I guess, not even my guess. That'd be my suggestion. Uh, really quick, while we're on the idea of a mid scope, and we do not, absolutely do not have to spend a lot of time on this, uh, Zeri is fucking insane right now. Fuck that champion. And dude. I just wanted to mention, like, because there was a post on the subreddit. And they're beginning a lot of talk, especially in pro play, where she's had like almost 40 pentakills across all regions right. this year, which is almost double than the previous, right. which was Kaisa in release year. She has been changed 12 times since her release, or she's been buffed, nerfed, whatever you want to call it, since her release. 
Um, there's just a picture on this this thread, and it's I can't remember what the woman's name was, but she used to do a lot of the like gameplay stuff, and it has a quote saying, "We don't think our champions have overloaded kits." Yeah, uh, that right. thing that thing is like, oh hey, we nerfed her AD ratios, and everyone goes, okay, I'll just build AP, and I'll one shot you with this stupid fucking crit. Yeah, uh, Riot, fix your goddamn champion. Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm not sure what they're. It's just that, that champion is going down perma ban lane for me, dude. I'm so tired of seeing it with a stupid crit W. That thing is so dumb. But you're right. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that. But the 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 redditor whoever posted that is right. I cannot remember the it's the the Asian girl, right? That's yes. usually on these videos. Yeah, I don't. Maybe she left the company. I don't know. Um, I don't I don't blame her. Right. She probably was harassed like every other woman in their company. Hey, by the way, Riot, good one. Um. Moving on. They're talking yeah, about some go. new champions. Uh, yeah. uh, Kasante, yeah. the pride of Nazuma, one of them. Seems interesting. Yeah, that was that was wild that um, he just like tr full on dropped the name. Right. I'm like, okay, usually they don't do that. The name but... and the title. I was like, wow, okay. And he told you he's a top lane tank from Shirima. Like, they don't usually give you that much information, which tells me that champion's a lot closer to release um i think than maybe they even anticipated yeah maybe like within the next month or probably when world's going yep. on i don't know yeah like, i say probably during worlds i know they also said said it was a tanky like well i think you believe he said a tanky hide but then it like opens with daggers and can do a lot of damage and i'm scared because i fucking hate tanks that can do damage right Right. But I don't know. It sounds interesting. Uh, they someone I think someone made a um, suggestion that it might be some sort of lion looking champion. Okay. Uh, I think it's, it I does say, say giant monsters, uh, like giant monster style. So that's cool. Like I enjoyed the monster champion, and I enjoyed that this is not gonna be like Belveth, who looks like a. Excuse me for saying mm -hmm. this. It's supposed to, like in her, in her thing is supposed to look like a like a sexy champion that turns into a monster like that's cool bridge the gap between like the humanoid and like the the sex appeal that they do with the women champions or the female champions for some reason that they're just like obsessed well, with doing i mean hold on and then mix it with last the year how many champions did they release male champions that were thirst traps too right set they're it's both right seth viego right 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 so yeah like like she's kind of I think I may have said this when they released her too. I, I think I said that she's probably going to be like that bridge between, between like the the sexy um, style and then the monster style as well. Because I think her monster form is actually pretty sick, even though she looks like a overgrown squid that mated with a stingray. Um, <laughs> but she's cool, and if you saw her in real life, you would probably shit your pants. Um, but yeah, I, what, what was the last tank that was uh, released? I'm trying to go back in my mind. That's a great Zeri question. Zeri was the beginning of the year before that. I think it's been a minute. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I like tanks. Like, I want to say hoping... Orn is the last one I remember, and that's been a minute. There's, there's got to be something. That, I mean, that was Orn's like five years ago, right? Like. Yeah. Let's see. We're going. I'm almost there. This list is, yeah. There's I been mean, a lot of bruisers, and that's part of it, you know. Yeah, I think that might be the issue. Um. Uh, okay. Here. Oh, Rel. Rel would have been the last tank. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's been like two, two or three years, maybe three years now. Twenty. Uh, December twenty twenty. Okay, so two years. Year, year and a half. Yeah. You know? Yep. 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 So, uh, yeah, right. they're, they're definitely due. Um. Obviously, you have your, what do they call them, wardens or whatever, and if you count the Galio rework, although I guess that wasn't that recent, so Rel probably still outdates the Galio rework. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, they were talking about the ASOL. Now, they called it a CGU, Comprehensive Gameplay, uh, update. gameplay update, meaning yes. his, his lore, his looks, they're very happy with, and sure, that's great. Good, his lore sucked. His, Not really. I mean, he's a Star Forger, and it's cool. Think... But like the reason, like the whole thing about the crown, like the big all-knowing God, they're just saying he has that much hubris that he just accepts a crown for people that 
don't like him and like lock him up. I thought that was kind of weak, and at least in the terms of the story of his lore. I I do like like yeah the Star Forge like he's the big, he's the guy you know. I like that idea, but like if if he's the guy, how did he get so easily fooled by some humans? I don't know, maybe he just it likes being it's hubris. Um, I guess I don't know. Worshipped and yeah, you'll take it. But what anyways? Uh, so their update. And I know a few, was it like last month, they had a brief update like video, which I'm assuming might be his alt, and which is if you play TFT, his ability is he opens a massive black hole yeah. that does damage. Yeah. And they didn't show that in this video, but this was previous. And so there was that, which already looks awesome. Right. Uh, and then now his new Q, he is going to be able to breathe fire. Uh, that is on a toggle, I believe he said, it's, as long as you have his mana, yep. which is fucking great. Yep. Um, and then the W, which is getting rid of... And you also notice that he doesn't have the stars orbiting him yes. anymore. Yes, So that's gone. New W is going to be his flying ability, which I am a little confused on because, like, it in the video, it just showed him flying straight. Yeah. And I like... think the way that Reeve made it sound like is he can do it wherever. And I'm like, okay, well... I'm assuming he's only gonna be able to fly in a straight line still. What I didn't um, understand is like he can he can fly over things and like he couldn't fly over things before. You had to like the way you had to do it though is you have to like walk in a straight line for a minute right. and then fucking go. It was well, they got rid of that a long time ago. They got rid of that like oh I don't know how long ago they got because yeah you used to have to walk in a straight line to build up the stacks and then people I think complains like well this skill's fucking useless because you can't necessarily always just walk in a straight line without killing yourself you know. And so they got rid of that, and he could just fly. But that's why I'm not, I wasn't understanding what the, the hell they were saying here, other than the fact that like maybe he can turn eventually. But yeah, I didn't. That, they didn't show anything about turning. Yeah, I really didn't understand. I was like, Reeve, this is a really bad explanation, dude. I don't know what to <laughs> tell you. A really fucking bad explanation. But I do like that you can fly by and breathe fire at people. I think that's pretty cool. And he's like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm flying by you and you're getting burnt. You're getting burnt. Fuck you. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's... When did he come out? He came out a while ago. Dude, he was like 20... 20... 15 or 16? It had to have been 16 because that was the year who he was playing that shit at International. Yeah, I'm also glad they got rid of the stars because he can actually hide in a bush. <laughs> Like, that's a, a fucking problem. You remember that yeah. uh, who he was playing that, and Bjergsen's like, yeah, I can't see the stars in the bush that I'm supposed to be able to see. The bugs. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's a pretty big fucking misplay. And then who he had nothing else to play against them. It's like, well, you don't, Dog, don't I... make a champion reliant on something stupid like that, right? I'm trying to think of an actual time I've seen an ASOL aside from... I don't even think see him in the ARAM that often, but... I've seen some people play him in Summoner's Rift, but those people know what the fuck they're doing with the champion. Yeah. I've not seen one yeah. that just gets absolutely shit on, unless it's me, obviously. But everyone else is like, yeah, just play this champion. I'm like, who plays him? But hey, you know what? I think this is going to be cool. I, I, I'm i really looking forward to the to the ASOL, the new ASOL. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to know when they're going to give us Ao Shin because, yes, we have him in TFT, but... Dear God, make him a I fucking mean, champion. He has Storm Dragon, which is basically Aushin. Right, but just okay. <laughs> right, if you're if you're thinking they're gonna do that, you're gonna be waiting a while. I'll be waiting so. forever. I'll wait forever. It's okay. And please call him Aushin. I've been hearing a lot of people call him Aoshin lately. Dear God, it, they're not initials. They're two letters. Aushin. Um, wow. moving on to the uh, next sort of teaser about the Darken Assassin. Mm -hmm. um, as Reeve said, we're barking for some Darken because it's been a while. Um, Who's the last Darken? Was it Kane? Maybe it was Kane. Or do you count the Aatrox uh, rework? I was going to say Aatrox rework might have been the only other only one I could think of. but It's probably... Well, there's only... There's Varus, Kane, Aatrox. Is there another Darken? I think there's only three Darken. Are there only three Darken? Pretty sure. I'll look it up. Tell me about the Darken um, Assassin. Yeah. What's up? Tell me about the Darken Assassin, though. Yeah. Uh, so it's a dagger. The item or the weapon is a dagger, which is cool. And if you didn't catch all the dog puns he was saying, I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of like right. dog, wolf, feral beast. 
the first thing that came to my mind is anybody that's played Dark Souls, there's a boss called Sif that's a giant wolf that has a sword or dagger in its mouth and uses it to get the fight. So that's the first thing I thought of, which would be pretty fucking cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, maybe it's not a dog. Some kind of, it seems like some kind of a beast or animal uh, picks up said dagger and gets possessed by the Darken. Were you able to find out? Yes, there are th how many? three. Okay. Uh, yeah, Varys, technically, yeah. Kane is not a Darken, it's Ross that's the Darken. Uh, because Kane has, Kane is three champions, more or less, to put it lightly. So, <laughs> Aatrox, Ross, and Varys. And I never realized how much Aatrox and Ross look alike in their fucking icons. Uh, Riot. Please change that. Why do they look almost the same? <laughs> no, that's pretty exciting that they're bringing in. A, I know a lot of people have been asking. Yes, yes. For Darken. I, so. I, they, I think they have a really cool lore line. So, like, I would love to see more of that. <clears throat> um. So, yeah, the Dark Assassin seems interesting. I, I don't know enough about Dark Souls, so that's cool. And I don't, I guess I caught that he was making dog puns, but I wasn't paying enough attention, I guess. So that's said, an interesting. Barkin. What else did he say? He said it's like two or three more things that were just like all four legged. Like you know, right, yeah, probably a dog. Or Throw something, me a freaking but... bone here. Uh, barkin for more darken. Um, or sorry, barkin for some darken. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that he says? I'll just have the captions on. If that doesn't seem like it's a dog, then I don't know. Yeah, what to yeah, tell you. he's throwing two at you. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um. um let me see what he closes it out with. He might close it out with something. Oh, dude, the dagger, by the way, looks sick with the eyeball in it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, just you gotta look at it. It's fucking cool. Um, I don't want to say that champion is coming out at like the end of this year. End of this year, probably January, if not February, at the absolute latest. But probably January. It should he should come out, or they should come out before. Uh, the regular season starts. Um, and go ahead. you happen to what else, any other puns did you see? I don't see any more puns. Um, I'm okay. just trying to kind of skip through. Source, trust me, bro. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, next up was the Ari um, update. Yes. Which, I'm going to be honest, does not look any different to me than what she is right now. Yeah, the, I the, didn't understand this. I know they're they're changing her model or like her her in-game in -game, model yeah. and just but like the clip just shows her using Foxfire and I'm like this looks exactly the same. I, so I don't know. I guess the only thing I would say is that she looks a little bit more like the Ari from um Ruin King. Yeah, not Ari though. I mean, yeah. that, that Ari was sick, and that Ari, to me, looked kind of the same. I guess I never realized that I guess she does look different. Um, Her face looks, like, more sinister in... It looks more fox-like. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, like in, this, she... in this, it looks more fox-like, where before it looked a lot more humanoid, but this has, like, the way her eyes angle up on her face. Um, she definitely carries more of the animalistic style that she's modeled after. Also, her voice, obviously, she's very old. Right. Her voice lines definitely need to be updated. She does not give me off the vibes that she's, like, killing people and, like, harvesting their souls or whatever the fuck to, uh, like, the, whatever the fuck she does. The best her example, essence. yeah, the best example I could think of this champion in something that's not uh, League of Legends is if you've seen um, Lovecraft Country... There is a in the name of the Japanese beast is actually escaping me right now. It's the same thing that uh, Naruto is. Um, God, I can't think of it's basically like a succubus. Um, there is one in that show. And the whole time I was watching that show, all I could think of was this is Ari. <laughs> this is Ari, except for the fact that Ari's lore is that she shepherds people from from uh the land of living, you know, through their death journey to their final resting place. But beyond that, I mean, she is a, a seductress who lives to seduct you so she can basically swallow your soul. So you got that. Yeah, like, again, in-game, 
voice does not give off, or her like lines, nothing gives off that vibe, really. Yeah, and, and the only th what did she say? She goes, uh, she says, "I know." What did she say? I gotta think of her of her line because she does say just, something that's like uh, something like "I know what you want" or something. Like, what did she say? She it just the only thing that comes to mind is she still says "summoner." It's like, don't you trust me, summoner? She like, does say, yeah. Yes. Like, we need to get... Any champion that still says Summoner, can we just yeet them? Like, come on, dude. Oh, no, they remove Summoner. It just says, don't you trust me. Oh, what the fuck? I just, I, I just happened to look it up. What did she say? She says, um... She can't have that many voice lines. <laughs> she doesn't have that many. Uh... Oh, I know what they desire. That's what it is. I know. What they... She says it very breathy, but, like... I don't know. I don't. I don't get the vibe that it's like you said. It doesn't quite fit the whole lore aspect of it quite yet. So it, she needs a little bit of love there, and hopefully that comes with the with the ASU. Yeah, and if, if people, there's so many fucking like acronyms for what these mean. Right. Uh, this is if you guys remember what they did to Ezreal a few years ago. It's literally what they're doing. Yes. This in-game model is going to be the main focus, and uh, maybe a little. Uh, updates here or there. Do you remember so. how ugly Ezreal was before they fixed him? <laughs> He's w yeah. Way better. Um, and then, yeah, the last uh, thing on the champion aspect was uh, a new Ixtal enchanter, a male enchanter. Um, remind me of Ixtal. I don't remember which region that is. Kiana, where Kiana... It's like a jungle, uh, I okay, think. Okay, okay. When it didn't exist before Kiana, and then Got it. they, like... They move people over just there. Just lumped, yeah. Like Rengar, I think is from there. Yes. I don't know. It's it's like a, yeah. You're it's right. like a huge like I don't know. They, a lot of people I guess have been asking for more Ixtal. Malphite, so, Nico, Nidalee, Kiana, Rengar, and Zyra. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, uh, didn't really get that much information. Just that he's uh, a male enchanter, and there's so few of them in the game, and it's pretty sick that they're gonna give us a new one there. Right. Right. No, I'm. I like that area actually. I didn't not recognize what the area was. I I think the aesthetic of these champions that are in that area are pretty cool. So I'm will be happy to see what they uh come out with. This is gonna be an enchanter. Um mm. see the thing with Ixtal is it's very to me related to Ionia. Um just like the champions that exist in Ixtal are a lot less humanoid than the Ionians, if that makes sense. So Maybe. I mean, aside from and it used to also, Kiana. Kiana. Right. She's the only really humanoid one there, but she uses the elements as if she wasn't almost. You know what I mean? But you have uh, the shapeshifter in Nidalee, uh, a, a form of shapeshifter in Nico. You have literally a moving mountain. <laughs> a, um, uh, what, what is he, a panther? A hunter in Rengar? And then you have... He's, a, he's technically a Vestian. Visi he's definitely Visi a Vestian. Yeah. Um, and then you have the Plant Lady Zyra, which is just Poison Ivy, let's be real. <laughs> but I think it's a cool region. I think all those champions have uh, very interesting aesthetics. Malphite might be the least interesting aesthetic, but Rock Go Boom is really all you need to know. <laughs> be interesting to see but an enchanter in here. I, I do like this. So that does it for the champions yes. uh, that they talk about. Let's take a break, and then we'll talk about some preseason stuff. Yes, we'll go with Froxon. All righty. We are back. Let me bring up my notes. Boom. All right, this one's a little bit longer. Yes. So they're doing a lot here. Um, I don't remember. In this video, they, they mentioned the jungle changes, yeah? Yeah, I... The one thing I wanted to hit on first is <laughs> they talk about the durability. Right. And he literally says, we're happy with how the durability is hitting. And I'm like, really? No. no you've been reverting <laughs> it every fucking patch. Yeah, we've been. Oh, my God, dude. The, the amount of uh, just straight lies in this video is actually I, is disturbing. So, okay. This was and then really quick. And I, I realized this, um, when did I see that they said this? I don't know if it was in the video. Oh, it was in a comment. I think either Reeve or Froxon in the Reddit post was commenting. They recorded this fucking video two months ago. Oh my God. 
two like two months ago and people were like wait what I, I, why is it so old and they're just uploading it now yeah i don't know so i'm like uh, are you really happy no i don't think I, it's just uh i don't know but then the other thing they say is they do not plan on doing an update like that in the middle of a season anytime soon they're gonna reserve that pre specifically for preseason yeah Unless, unless they absolutely have to do it. Right. And I, yeah, I don't think it was, it was too much to shake up in the middle of the fucking season. Yeah, it was really, really a weird time to do that. And and I think they experienced the same thing when they did the, um, the class updates back in, was that 2016 mm -hmm. too, when they did the class updates? The tank ones with yeah, Sejuani the, the, and... The Alcon. Juggernaut update... The assassin update, the you remember that whole list of updates, and I know some of you guys are new and didn't uh, experience those, but those really shook up the entire fucking game in the middle of the season, and it's like a reason that Darius was even a viable champion in pro play. Um, and not only was he viable, he was I don't think he was a hundred percent pick banned, but he was like at over seventy five percent, like he was pretty much in every game. Uh, well, to be fair, back then. It was 2015 when they did that. They were not doing that many uh, no. patches. No, they weren't. Before Worlds. Right. They were like, all right, here's a patch a month and a half before Worlds. They were, here's some giga fucking busted champions. Who cares? They weren't even doing... Um, they weren't even doing patches like every two weeks consistently at that point either. Mm -mm. So I mean, it's it, we've definitely grown a long way, but like... That they should have learned from that time, like, and I remember they said we're we're never gonna do a whole class updates like that again because that was a fucking mess and a nightmare. But it's like here we are again. Mm. I think they said specifically not before an international. Yeah, it's just how about just not in the middle of a fucking season when you want to change up the entire way the game plays, and then slowly revert it back patch after patch to the same champion. Sure, the, the durability, <laughs> the durability one. I agree. They should not be doing that. Like. It's it's yeah it's fucked. I, I I played a game earlier, and I just had flashes of of last year. I'm like, wow, the other team doesn't have a tank, which sure you don't always need, but like you can't rely on Pantheon to be your engage and your your damage soak. So you need to have follow up. And it's just like it felt like they could never quite finish the kill, if that makes sense, because the durability update and I was like, wow, you guys are playing champions from last year because yeah, they're hot right now, but we out comped you. But like, shouldn't you be playing something fresh? Like <laughs> it just, it feels very weird when you get to the end of a season and you're seeing literally the same champions from the end of the previous season. I, I don't know. He, he literally says happy. And I'm just like, I started laughing. I'm like, yeah, right, mm -hmm. right, right fucking silly um the next thing that they hit on was uh assist communication and vision systems now yes. they mentioned that i guess we can lump these two together but like they wanted to one change the ping wheel and add more things to it uh, which were so like I I pause the video and I look because they they go around because there's only four pings right like right and they they specifically comment on that they some of the pings are used for uh, not the right purpose right like when someone fucking ints and you just question mark ping them like that is fucking yikes um, yeah you know I learned to stop doing that and start using emotes instead. <laughs> Like, instead of the question mark ping, I have the, the blitz scratching his chin with the question mark above his head. It's like, oh, what were you doing? And then also the enemy can see that, so when they try to get out, you know, you can kind of BM with it a little bit. But I think I use it more for my teammates. Like, what are you doing? Or that was a questionable play, dude. Why are you doing that? Um, so, yeah, the ping wheel, um, again, all the pings that I saw on it are engage, assist me, harass... I can't wait to use the harass one. Oh. Uh, enemy missing, freeze, danger, push, and on my way. I'm okay with I, that, though. I wanted... I don't know. This is not my original idea, because I always see this. I want a this area is warded ping. Don't we have like, that? Like, oh, I can tell... No, they don't. 
if you don't have the word ping already no a game in what are you talking about like right now or, yeah. or i guess you're right okay on the g like the g yeah, yeah. okay i didn't i don't know why maybe it was just stuck on the um maybe but, okay i don't see anybody it. fucking use that anyway i use the fuck out of that thing when i know at least when i know if i don't know i don't you know what i mean but when you know that this area is warded or might be warded, dude, I, I use the fuck out of that thing. And it gives you... I wish they would change the noise that it comes with, though. The noise gives you a danger noise. Which, mm -hmm. like, it almost sounds like a like a, a fallback ping, you know? And so they need to figure out a better way to make that a little bit more differentiated. Because sometimes I'll see someone hit it, and I'm like, do they just tell me to fall? But like, why, why are we pinging back? It's like, oh, they're just pinging that it's warded right there. Like, don't hide in that bush, because it's warded. Um... I think that because that ping doesn't exist on the wheel, it doesn't get used as often, if that makes sense. It's just like the, uh, there's the, I think one of them is called danger or careful. I think if you hit control and just click. Right. Uh, yeah. Right click. Yeah. 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 It does, yeah. I think it's, yeah. And it's not the same as the exclamation mark, yeah. uh -huh. but it also is like, why is that not on the ping wheel? Just, just, if you have the, if it exists, just put it on the ping wheel. I think that's what I was. I think that's where you're getting at. at. Is... Right, right, right. Is is, yeah, the vision one's not on the wheel. It should be on the wheel because I think people don't uh, use it often enough. Um, speaking of warding, they're looking at changing trinket placements to show you a preview of where the ward is gonna go before you place it. That's fucking genius. It's great because I still don't know how to fucking hit that massive bot lane wall oh, to get into the river wood. Yeah. Bush. Right. And then, I mean, I always, um, I currently on my trinket do, it's not quick cast. I, I, I have it unselected. So like when I hit four, it magnets to my mouse and I can manually drag it around and then left click to place it. Mm. Cause there've been so many times where I just like, Oh, I'm just gonna hit four and pray it goes in the bush and it doesn't. Right. But the fact that it's now going to show you where it is getting placed before the placement it's just, Great. Yeah, it's to show you where it's getting placed and what it can see. Like, I actually really like that. Like, what can it see? That's fucking genius. Because I've always been curious, like, how much... It's always been kind of a guessing game, right? But now, right. now you're actually going to have that line before you place it and be like, okay, I know I'm going to be able to see this. And then you're not going to be like, how the fuck did they get through my ward? So I think that's actually really good, really important. Mm -hmm. um, they did... They also said something about... It shows you how many wards you have on the map. Yeah, I don't really know what that means, but yeah, I'm not sure that why that matters. But it they, only matters I for supports was... or pink wards, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't well, know. Um, well, then moving on to the jungle in general, and you know, when was it we were talking about? Did we we make an episode where they're talking about the um? We have not talked no, about we... the about the Tamagotchi. The like pet, yeah, the Tamagotchi. <laughs> okay, I guess we didn't. We, we didn't. I, I don't know. I think you but, and I talked about it, but I don't think we did. A, I don't think we did an episode. If we did an episode talking about the Tamagotchi guys, I'm sorry, it is a, a late they, record. Yeah, they so they fun. released like a little blog a while ago that they are thinking of letting junglers have pets that help you clear your jungle, and their idea is to let other champions come into the jungle. Yeah, and. I pretty much think they're just doing it to sell more cosmetics. Like, oh, cool! Now I can have my little my pet have a skin. Sweet. Um, interested in that? I'm down for more champions to be able to jungle. Right. Uh, because it's just like some champions are just so good at it, yep. and obviously because that's what they were made for. But, um, but that wasn't on this video, which is also weird. And then, like I said, they were they said they recorded this months ago. The whole timeline is just fucked up, and you right. know that they fucking love to change their minds on a dime. They do, dude. They're just, yeah. I didn't know this was recorded months ago. Like I missed this, and so like the fact that you said that that makes me rethink everything I thought about this video in the first place. <laughs> you know, what I mean? if this was recorded in like May, <laughs> and they oh. just came out last week, they could have changed hella shit. They could have changed the entire video. Even if it was recorded in June, you could have changed the entire video. Which also tells me that uh, um, Cassante is a lot closer to being done than yeah, they I make it seem. If this was recorded a few months ago, Cassante is like, should be around the corner. 
like within the next few weeks. Like, I was thinking like world's time October, but like it was a few months ago and they had all that information. He should be about ready to be released, like almost right after Udir. Yeah, I'd give him let's see, Udir comes out in like a week. If this makes this... it to October, I'll be surprised. I'd say middle uh yeah, I'd say maybe middle of September. Middle to end of September is my guess. Like the last September patch. Yeah, that sounds about right. Right, right. Um so yeah, with more on the jungle. Um they're thinking about improving buff sharing. Mm, so I do like that idea. Which I love that. But uh here's where I'm getting worried about this. They were happy with the durability changes. If you add buff sharing, what the fuck are we doing with durability changes? Like, like what do you mean? You're just adding power creep back in the game. Oh, now you get, your team gets two red buffs. That's well, more damage, okay. right? I don't think, I don't think it's full on, like iron status, because they the reason they were like, they're gonna concentrate on it is because like when you share or like you're like oh I'm gonna give my blue buff to my right. winner. Jungler is missing out on gold and XP. Even even then, you're just jamming more power into the game, right? You've increased durability, and then you're happy about it. You said you're happy about the durability increase, regardless this is a couple months ago. Uh, and now you want to put more gold and XP in the jungler's pocket so that they can do more, which means power creep. Uh, right. Can we get like an idea of what you're trying to fucking do here? It's like you increase the health bars so you can increase maximum damage. It, it, it just to me, this feels the opposite of durability when when I hear it. Like yes, let's reward more champions, which great. It feels great as a player, right? When you can just go and 100 to zero somebody, it feels great as a player. It does not feel great to be 100 to zeroed. Um, that is not fun when you're on the opposite side of that, right? And so they're like, okay, okay, okay. ADC was in a shitty spot because they would just get 100 to zeroed. So we're going to increase durability so that way they don't get 100 to zeroed. Oh, by the way, your junglers, which many of them happen, not all of them, but oftentimes junglers play a, like a semi, either early or mid game champion. Um, so before your ADC is even scaled up because they're typically late game champions, um, you're going to get 100 to zeroed again. It's, it's like we're just, we're going backwards. I I think it's cool. I mean, to be fair, I don't really. I'm curious how they're gonna fucking do this. They just change the jungle item. Yeah, I know they. Um, I can't remember what they they like. I didn't write it down, but they brought up the old jungling items and like. They're like, yeah, those items were cool, but they had their own issues, and like. They did. They said, "quote unquote," improving buff sharing. Buff leaving behind something that also gives a buff. So maybe that might not necessarily mean like, oh, I get my own blue buff. Maybe it just, I don't know, fuck, fucking know, dude. They can, again, comes down to two months ago. <laughs> right. They could be fucking ditching this whole idea. I kind of, I actually kind of hope they do. Especially because uh, they're bringing back Chemtech Drake. <laughs> but Chemtech Drake actually seems cool. This much, much better version of, as they call it, everyone's favorite Drake, the Chemtech Drake. Um, <laughs> the pun about we're bringing it back from the dead, but she's not bringing it back from the dead was pretty good. And I actually thoroughly enjoyed that they took that idea from Chemtech and said, let's give it to Renata Glass, the Chem Baron. Like, great idea how to reuse a system that you guys tried to implement right i think that's a great um i would even hesitate to call it a piece of recycling because they they ditched that first idea so fast because it just didn't fucking work well, what confuses me or not confuses me there's no way they they already been planning that with renata for ho who knows how long there's no way that they because she came out in february and they ditched chemtrick chemtank in like January. Right. But I'm wondering if they reworked her W to add that in there and just increase the, the mm. cooldown. Because uh, the other part of the W that I think a lot of people, I don't want to say forget about, but undervalue is the attack speed and movement towards enemies, right? So she, she kind of 
the way I see it, if if you guys have watched Arcane, which I assume you have, because most of you listen to our Arcane episodes, um, the Shimmer, or you know, which is the beginning of the Chemtech, uh, was kind of like an enraging agent, um, which would give you obviously some faster uh, berserker style or barbarian style uh, behavior, I guess would be the best way to put it. So you'd be expected to attack faster, maybe hit harder and run faster. Um, so I think that aspect was already built in with the idea of um, chem tank or, or shimmer or whatever you want to call it. And I think when they realized that the chem tech Drake wasn't working, I think they really liked that idea of coming back for a limited amount of time. And then they just reworked it to fit in her kit. But I'm not part of the dev team, so I couldn't tell you. That's just my assumption. Or a guess, I should say. Not even an assumption, a guess. Plus, could you imagine if they were just both in the game at the same time? No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I think they had added it to her instead of... Because, yeah, it would have been fucking stupid. Oh, hey, you died. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah, actually, you didn't die again and then throw a zillion in there. You're actually not dead. You would have four deaths on a GA. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that would be fucking ridiculous. So, yeah, they are... The buffs are changing to gaining damage reduction and just damage in general while you're low on health. Yeah, it's a Trinomir. <laughs> yeah, or Olaf, this is sorry. Like worrying me. War oh, yeah, both. Olaf, Trinomir just right. makes me fucking worried for that. So hopefully it's not too much. Right. Uh, but the, the best part, uh, they didn't mention anything about a soul. So I'm not no, sure the, about that yet. Yeah, they didn't. But I did like the, the plants, the mutated plants on the rift. I thought that was really cool. That... Oh man, see, it just comes down to, I think I, I just like that way more than like the actual buff it gives you. That just doesn't, like, oh, it's chem tank, you know, there's fucking mutations going on, got it. Right. But it's going to give you damage reduction. That just does not, it was the same issue I had kind of with the sense. fucking buff in the first place, like way back when. Right. They don't, they just don't make sense together. Right. That's fair, that's fair. But I, it's like, oh, of course they gotta fucking throw more damage in, right? Well, yeah, see, they're, they're, that's why they're giving you damage reduction, so they can counter the damage that they're throwing in, dude. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, I'd be, I wouldn't be upset with them changing the the buff it gives you. Right. I don't, I don't know. Right. Because, like, damage reduction, that just tells me, like, that's like mountain, that should be, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is mountain. I mean, I didn't think about that, but you're right. You get resistances, yeah. but like it's a tank. I it's it's whatever, right? Fuck you. I just yeah, they don't know what they're they're. I almost feel like the game's getting a little too big for them. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah, uh, the map, the the plants become empowered. The vision plant gives you movement speed when moving towards revealed enemies. Love that. Uh, and then the blast cones. Which is literally like a poppy alt that fucking yeets you. Yeah, it does. From like blue buff to mid lane. Like that's I think that's what they showed. That's a can't can't wait to fucking troll my teammates, man. Well, I can't wait to fucking knock the shit out of them into the enemy team. One of the things you didn't mention about the blast or the blast gun about the Scryer's orb that I do like is that it also reveals right around you as well. Like you pop it, it reveals almost like a ward. Like if you were to place a pink ward, it's gonna reveal that. And then it's going to reveal a whole area in front, just like it does now. You know, whatever that cone is that you hit it in. So I think mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it will... If it's mutated, will it reveal uh, stealth units? Oh, if, does it give true sight? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even... Does it Let's give see. true sight now? I don't I think it does. Think... I think it only uh, reveals camouflage. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like yeah, Twitch. yeah, yeah. If Twitch, uh, I don't yeah, think it, I don't think it reveals stealth. Yeah, like or there's so many the, like the fact that there's uh, there's those two systems in general is a fucking problem in my opinion. But <laughs> there's camouflage, stealth, and then I think there's true stealth, yeah. which is like Kha'Zix are. Yeah, that doesn't get revealed <laughs> by anything. It's fucking dumb. I don't, I don't know why they have too many systems on stealth, like. Can we can we uh, maybe bring that? Can we reel that in a little bit and and go back to like one or two? Two's a lot. I'd like to go back to one because at a certain point when you're trying to differentiate different things in this game, it's too hard. Um, I mean, I'm I'm 100 percent fine with like camouflage and then just keep stealth. 
the like completely unseeable unless you're next to a turret. Like I think like turret Tur- should be yeah. like Kazakhstan right. or what's another one that's like. Does anyone else have one like that? That's true stealth. I thought it was um, just Kazakhs. No. Yeah, and I'm fine with like. Can you imagine if Twitch is like Q or Evelyn oh, just like God. perma invisible, oh, like you can not see them. That'd yeah, be I'm fine with I'm fine with those two. I'm sure there's another. I think there's another true. St- is Shaco Q? I, uh, whatever. We don't need to sit on this. Yeah, cause... right. I know we're getting we're getting um, here towards the end and and and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. The gothic yeah, that was update it. is the last part, oh, but oh man, that's oh, just kind of. I will say, I think the Draven skin, or at least the artwork, is fucking sick. But I really don't understand. I don't even remember this fucking skin line revamp that they talked about voting on. I don't even remember voting on this thing. I don't remember anything about it. Um, And apparently people voted to revamp the gothic skin line, and I don't even know what fucking skin line that is. I don't know what Draven skin... Goth Annie. Goth Annie, um, E. Mumu, um, trying to think of another one, but, For, but yeah, I don't know about Fright Night. That's too cartoon. Like I bro. like, I like the idea of like the sure you know they're fucking goth kids, man. Like that's that's funny. This oh, is the furthest. That? These skins are the furthest furthest thing from goth right. I can ever think of. Right. These are These just are another. Y- y- the Urgot skin. Literally fucking oogie boogie. Like, yes. looks incredible. That looks yeah. great. The Renata, the Renata skin looks great. The Draven one, I'm just kind of. It's okay with like a ho- he has a hockey mask or something. Yeah, he's, on, he's, right? he's Jason. I'm like, uh, with cha- how is he's that Jason, go- but he's got chainsaws and like I guess whatever his shoulder pads uh, are. You could argue that like, oh, huh, they're not. They're called Fright Night. They're not goth. Right. Like, I don't. Let know. me. Uh, can I read you? Um, yeah. What they stated after, I think the poll, I'm pretty sure the poll is in the beginning of the year. Oh, I didn't even realize that Renata's basically fucking Jack Skellington, by the way. Yeah, that's the Friday, full, yeah, Nightmare full Before Christmas. Rip. Yeah, why would we just call it that? Why would we call it Fright Night? But yeah, the Oogie well, Boogie thing, where he is literally Oogie Boogie, but I couldn't place what Trundle necessarily was. He actually looks like a Shanghai Trundle. He... That they dressed up with he, some fucking... The Trundle reminds me of the monsters in Where the Wild Things Are. Okay, but those maybe it's not spot on, but his face looks like a like a Blood Moon or or a Shanghai Scrolls style. Actually, it kind of looks like Shanghai Cho'Gath with his face, you know. But read me that blurb you wanted to read. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, there. so I'd have to maybe you can look up when that poll was. I'm pretty sure it was the beginning of the year. I think there was two other skin lines. Like, God, maybe yeah. Look that up while I'm reading this. Just see what that poll was, because. Again, there were other two other skin lines that people enjoyed that you know they were thinking of bringing back. So, as the vote it says, as the voting results posted stated, please leave all overcoats, canes, and top hats with the doorman because we're about to get gothic. We're excited to see this level of former emo kids excitement and can't wait to deliver this angsty thematic. We have visited the goth. We haven't visited the gothic thematic in a minute, and much like emo, we're glad it's not dead. We're really excited uh, at how our middle school aesthetic might look in current league, and there are a bunch of different directions we could take it. We've started exploring some of them already, as well as, as we're well into the discovery process, from cute and spooky to serious and dark. There are so many shades of black for us to try on. Our next steps are identifying what feels really good about the existing gothic skins and which direction we'd like to move in for the new skins. What the fuck happened? This is not. I I see. I saw so many people saying these are. This is not what I voted for. Like these skins look cool. Right. They, they well, could be their how, own line. Yeah. Why are we changing what already exists? How is this like a quote unquote rework to gothic skin? I'm like, if anybody's watching, I literally wrote ten million percent not goth. Like this is like oh my god. What the fuck? So the the global vote was between Arclight, Infernal, and Gothic. Okay, yeah, exactly. And, like, and Gothic was about fifty percent, like it was a very large. I don't give like, a shit about the other skins. Close. Right. The other skins, I don't give a shit about. I, Gotham, like, cool. Realistically, I didn't really give a shit about any of them. But like, I I I enjoyed Gothic because when I 
<laughs> when I see it, it reminds me of the goth kids from fucking South Park, and I think it's funny. And I enjoy Imumu. I think that's funny. And Goth Annie, sure, even though it's kind of like was her original uh, uh, first skin, uh, I thought it was interesting. But like, like you're saying, yeah, you know, why is this a replacement? This shouldn't be a replacement for Gothic. Like, this should just be another skin line because these skins are fine. I think they work. I don't like that they're necessarily just straight rips of fucking Nightmare Before Christmas, but okay, whatever. You do you and deal with your licensing problems later. But why is that replacing Gothic? Like, why is that not just another part of bewitching? That that shit already fucking exists, Riot. Yeah, it's just... They're Halloween skins, and Goth is not just hollow. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, that, that I, literally I, is it. Goth is not just Halloween, but... You know... Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I, this I, was recorded two months ago, so uh, I think I hate that YouTube got rid of the dislikes because I would be curious to see what the dislike ratio you is. You know, I believe they're. Uh, I don't know if do you use uh, Mozilla or Google. Uh, I use Chrome, but I think I there's a way to turn it back on. Right? There's an extension. Yeah. There's an extension you can add. Uh, I'd be very curious to see what the dislike ratio is. It's probably shit the bed. It Just like uh, when Seraphine fucking... <laughs> I will say the fucking top comment on YouTube uh, says, any Riot employee who has to give one of these presentations should get a raise. It's like volunteering to become a walking meme. And... I think that explains yeah. the entire thing we've just been talking about this entire time. Bro, I... It was very hard listening to it and watching Reeve. Like, he was... Yeah. Bless that man, but he's so cringe. He Excuse is. Excuse me. He's so very cringe. Yikes. So, anyways, that's all I got on this video, and I know we've been yeah, holding that's... your guys' attention for the last hour. So thank you for sticking with us. Uh, hopefully, there's something that you guys liked in here. I would like to know as our question of the week, uh, or at least for the episode, to know um, what did you find in here that's interesting. And what did you see that you absolutely can't stand? Because I know there's plenty that people can't stand in this list. Um, so I'm curious to know what it is that, that you're seeing um, that you can't stand. Are you agreeing with us? Or, or is there something else that, that's really uh, taking you a different route? What stands out and what just pisses you off? I don't I mean, know. Basically. Yeah. I, uh, for a poll, I just want to, I'm curious if you guys are happy with the goth like change yeah yeah you already know i mean hopefully we don't influence too many people with their decision but it's just yikes it's not good yeah uh, all right anyways that that's gonna do it uh happy wednesday guys we'll be back on friday for our champion review yep um until then enjoy your week bye y'all